Are you curious to see what happens when you soak raisins in water? This simple experiment will reveal some fascinating science you can easily observe at home. Raisins, which are dried grapes, undergo a remarkable transformation when placed in water. But why does this happen? Let's find out. I'll show you the real science behind it step by step. This experiment is not only fun but also a great way to understand a fundamental concept in biology. So gather your materials and let's get started. Let's dive in. Afrida Study World presents Class 9 Science Shorts. This is a perfect activity for students, teachers and anyone interested in the wonders of science. Today, we're exploring osmosis with a simple activity you can try at home. Take two bowls. Make sure they are clean and transparent so you can clearly observe the changes. Fill one with plain water and the other with salt water. The salt water should be a saturated solution, meaning you add enough salt until it no longer dissolves. This will create a significant difference in water concentration for our experiment. Now drop a few dry raisins into both bowls and wait for a few hours. Patience is key here, as the process of osmosis takes some time to become noticeable. Before and after, you'll notice something interesting. The raisins in the plain water swell up and look plump. This is because water moves into the raisins, causing them to expand. But in salt water, the raisins stay the same or even shrink a little. Why does this happen? The salt water creates a different environment for the raisins, affecting the movement of water. It's all because of osmosis. Osmosis is a type of passive transport, meaning it doesn't require energy. It's a natural process that occurs in many living things. Osmosis is the movement of water from an area of more water to an area of less water through a semi-permeable membrane, like the skin of a raisin. This membrane allows water to pass through, but not larger molecules like sugar or salt. In plain water, water rushes into the raisin. This is called endosmosis. The water moves from the outside, where it is more concentrated, to the inside of the raisin, where it is less concentrated. But in salt water, the concentration of water is lower outside the raisin, so water doesn't enter. Instead, the high concentration of salt outside the raisin draws water out of it. Sometimes water even leaves the raisin, causing it to shrink. This is called plasmolysis. This is the opposite of endosmosis and can be observed in many plant cells when they are placed in a hypertonic solution. Think about it. Plants use osmosis to absorb water from the soil. This process is essential for their survival, allowing them to take in the water they need to grow and thrive. Like, share, and subscribe for more Class 9 Science. Hash Afrida Study World. Stay curious and keep exploring the